Hello everybody and welcome to this scouting report. I'm Dan Hayek here with armchair analyst Matt Doyle and today we're previewing the Saturday afternoon match between the Vancouver Whitecaps and San Jose Earthquakes. Matt, a couple weeks ago against the Colorado Rapids, the Earthquakes did a really good job of gunning up the works in midfield for the Rapids and, and neutralizing the play of Dylan Powers. Pedro Morales is a similar type of creator. Will they look for the same approach here against Vancouver? I, I think they will. I mean, if it, if it ain't broke, don't fix it. And uh, defensively, San Jose has been very, very good over the past month or so. Uh, they're not doing anything special. They're just refusing to allow teams to build right down the middle, forcing them wide. If you're going to score against them, it's going to have to come from there. That said, they did have a couple of turnovers last week against Chivas USA that were very dangerous. Sam Cronin, very unlike him, very a guy who's usually very tidy on the ball, had a couple of bad ones. Chivas went the other way, couldn't punish San Jose. Vancouver, on the other hand, they will punish you in that situation. Morales, in particular, his ability to pick telling balls from deep. Gershon Coffey can do it as well if he's in there. Russell Tybert, we know he had great range of passing. And, of course, Darren Maddox, Kakuta Mane on the other end. Speed like that can't really be contained in the open field. So for the Quakes, it's a simple goal. Protect the ball. And if they can protect the ball, of course, they will look to get it out wide to the flanks. So let's focus on the flanks for our man-to-man, -man, Shea Salinas versus former teammate Steven Betasher. Yeah, Salinas is one of my favorite players in the league. Very tricky one versus one winger, and who doesn't like a player like <laughs> that? But the book is well out on him. You, you force him to his left foot. If he gets it on his right, he's going to put in a very, very nice cross, probably eight times out of ten on his left. It's a little iffier. He did have a nice assist against Chivas USA last week again, but that was more the exception than the rule. So Beta Short is going to have to push uh, Salinas wide to the touchline all game, and he's going to have to probably do it on his own. He's going to be out there on an island a bit because it seems likely that the Quakes will start Yannick Jallo on the other flank. And Jallo has been kind of a talisman for them the past few weeks. When he's come in in the second half, they've been a much, much better team defensively and in attack, and especially in possession. So with Jallo coming and pinching in on that side, that's really going to occupy a lot of the defenders and a lot of the central midfield of the Whitecaps. So it really is going to be a one versus one battle down that flank with Salinas and Stephen Betashore. All right, well, we'll see who wins that 1v1 battle on Saturday. It kicks off at 7 p.m. Eastern time. In the States, you can watch it on MLS Live, and in Canada, it's on TSN2.